Hi, welcome to part two of our F Sharp and Visual Studio Code video series. In the previous video, we looked at different ways to navigate to a file. But in this video, we're going to be looking at more advanced code navigation features once you're inside of a file. In particular, we're going to look at how to navigate to a specific word in a document. In this example, I'd like to look at all of the references to the history field. The simplest way to do this is to move the cursor over the word we're looking for and hit Ctrl and F. This will open the Find in File pane and automatically pre-fill it with the word. Notice that the scroll bar on the right highlights each match with a small brown block. The Find pane also shows the number of occurrences and allows me to navigate through each one by hitting the Enter key. One of the limitations of find in file is that it simply finds all matching words, but not necessarily all matching instances of this symbol. For example, here it's matched on the word history that's part of the history loaded symbol. Thankfully, Ionide also supports semantic highlighting. Here, I've once again moved the caret over the history field. Notice already that the breadcrumb panel understands that history is a field on the model type. Also, see how the highlighted symbols and the grey blocks on the scroll bar only refer to occurrences of this particular field and not simply instances of the word history. If I wish to browse between all occurrences, I can hit Shift and F12 to bring up the peak dialog. Not only does it show me all references in a list, but it also allows me to rapidly preview each one using up and down arrow. If I want the main code editor to jump to the selected reference, I can hit enter. Notice the blue arrow that shows the start of the reference in the code window. When I'm done, I can hit escape to remove the dialog. If I'd like to go back to the original definition of the symbol, I can just hit F12. Code will then move the carrot back to the history field definition. Like find all references, this works across all files as well. An alternative to using the peak all references is to use the highlight next word feature. Move the carrot over a symbol and hit Control shift down or up. Each press will automatically move to the next reference. That's the end of this video. In the next one, we'll be continuing our look at code navigation in VS Code and Ionide. Thanks for watching.